Every year, around 20 million radioactive material packages are transported worldwide by road, rail, sea and air. When transporting radioactive material, it is important to limit radiation exposure of both transportation workers and the general public along transport routes. These goods also need to be packaged correctly as laid out according to the international and national regulations for each mode of transport to minimize the risk of radiation exposure. What's the purpose of the Transportation Safety Network? The smooth and safe transport of radioactive materials. The future model is collaboration on a regional basis and between trading states. Participants in the regional transportation safety networks know that it's not about collecting business cards. It's about building relationships and leveraging their resources to complement and extend their core expertise. How do individual countries benefit from regional transport networks? Our network consists of three different uh, um, continents, which is Africa, Europe and, and Asia. So that in itself is already uh, a good mixture of different cultures, which will be beneficial for all the countries in this region. Networks are defined by the ability of the people within the region to work across boundaries, extending their reach to grow and excel collectively much faster than they could individually. What's next for the Transportation Safety Network? The IAEA will continue to provide annual workshops that focus on selected topics to meet the needs of the participating members, such as certification of packages, management systems, conducting inspections, emergency preparedness and response, and security and transport. How do you join a transportation safety network? The current regional networks for transport safety are informal. Member states interested in participating in a network need only contact the IAEA to be connected with the appropriate one. The IAEA has been actively involved in transport regulation since 1961. The regulations developed by the IAEA provide a uniform basis for both national and international transport safety requirements, which have been adopted by over 60 countries and international and regional organizations. The goal of creating transport networks is to create a sustainable model that sees member states empowered to improve safety in their countries through their own efforts and with the support of their regional partners. Transportation safety networks are all about connecting with others to share, learn and discover, to strengthen their own expertise and knowledge. This collaboration has direct benefits in improving transport safety nationally, regionally and globally.